Did you know that 89% of healthcare organizations in the US experienced a data breach in the past two years? The number of exposed healthcare records reached a staggering 13 million in 2018, and that healthcare data breaches cost more than $6 million on average. You need the right people, processes, and technology in place to protect your organization from data breaches and cyber attacks. Your first line of defense is your employees. All your employees need to be periodically trained about the best security practices. Promoting cybersecurity awareness can be an effective way to make security a cultural focus in your organization. You can also conduct phishing email tests to figure out who's falling for phishing scams and other types of malicious emails and customize your training program accordingly. After people comes the process. Have policies in place to prioritize your sensitive assets like electronic health records, clinical data, and insurance claim details. Take a risk-based approach to assess what assets have the highest business impact when breached. Create access control policies based on who needs access to what data. For example, a pediatric nurse doesn't typically need access to the medical records of an Alzheimer's patient. If doctors from different departments need to collaborate, a clearly defined policy for granting and revoking permissions should be established. After getting your people and processes in order, the right technology should be deployed to detect all the telltale signs of a cyber attack. A good security information and event management team, SIEM, solution can help detect and resolve incidents. UEBA uses machine learning to create a baseline of activities for every user and entity in your network. You can integrate your SIEM solution with the User and Entity Behavior Analysis UEBA solution. Any deviation from the baseline behavior increases the risk score of the user or entity. The higher the risk score, the higher the risk. This way, you can identify malicious activities in the initial stages. But what if a breach still takes place? Network segmentation helps contain a cyber attack within the infected segment. It also helps you trace the path of entry and take remedial action. Make sure you segment both your physical and virtual networks to manage access controls and regulate traffic. By getting people, processes and technology right, your healthcare organization is better prepared to prevent attacks. After all, you don't want to let attackers in or let any sensitive information out.